Beck has decided that he's going to take on Barack Obama's name and declare that it is un-American. Curious choice. And Beck always says he can't understand why people would say that he's uh, racially insensitive. Ah, gee, I wonder why. Well, let's listen in on uh, Glenn Beck's explanation of Obama's name and then see if we can put it together. He changes his name um, from Barry because he's trying to fit in as Barry. Then he meets Frank Marshall Davis. He then changes his name to Barack. Why? To make a statement and to fit in. Think. You change your name to Bra uh, from Barry. You want to fit in. You decide, no, I want to be somebody different. You change your name and then again play the audio of what he did after he changed his name. I chose my friends carefully. The more politically active black students, the foreign students, the Chicanos, the Marxist professors and structural feminists and punk rock performance poets. We smoked cigarettes and wore leather jackets. At night in the dorms, we discussed neocolonialism, France Fanon, Eurocentrism, and patriarchy. Stop. When we grew I mean, is that mainstream stuff? That's not. No. That is a guy named Barack. Yeah. Hey, Barack! Not Barry. Hey, Barry, come here. Let's talk about neocolonialism. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about structural feminism, then? Barack! Neocolonialism. It takes on a whole different light. So he goes in, he seeks these people out. As Barack, not Barry. He seeks them out. He creates a new identity for himself. You know what? This sounds ridiculous, but I don't believe it is. Maybe it is. It he is. chose to use his name Barack for a reason, to identify not with America. You don't, t you don't take the name Barack to identify with America. You take the name Barack to identify with what? Your heritage? The heritage, maybe, of your father in Kenya, who is a radical? Is it really? Searching for something to give him any kind of meaning. Just as he was searching later in life for religion. All right, there you have it. First, uh, just real quick, the whole uh, dismissiveness of education was fantastic in there. You know? <laughs> Studying neocolonialism, yeah, right, trying to get an education. You know, Glenn Beck never went to college. So I don't know if he's, I, I don't hold that against him, but I, maybe he's bitter about it. He's got a chip on his shoulder, whatever it is. Yes, you study different interesting things in college. I, I know, that's crazy. Don't do it. All right, now on to the main uh, event here. So apparently the name uh, Barack uh, is more un-American because what anglicized names are more American. I, I mean, like you know, I get tired of this. I mean, don't don't they miss the whole point of the country over and over again? Anybody can be an American, but to them that's not how they see it. They see it as if you're white or anglicized, then you're a real American. But if you got these funny names, you're obviously not a real American. Maybe you're, I don't know, 91% American, 72% American, but not a real American like Glenn Beck. That's a very American name. And what was the thing about the Kenyan father? You know, uh, and then he's got a Kenyan father, obviously radical. <laughs> Why? Because he's from Kenya? I, I fail to see the connection at all. And, of course, he's wrong about Obama wanting to take on a new identity. He said that he had matured and didn't feel like he needed to change his identity as he thought before when he was more insecure when he was younger. He felt like before, well, I want to fit in, so why don't I try Barry, right? And then when he came to uh, Columbia, he had matured. He, I'll give you an exact quote uh, from Obama. He said, um, it was not some assertion of my African roots, not a racial assertion. It was much more of an assertion that I was coming of age, an assertion of being comfortable with the fact that I was different and that I didn't need to try to fit in in a certain way. Because his real name is Barack Obama. And if that bothers Glenn Beck, um, for all of us who have 
strange names, Glenn, who you think are un-American, it doesn't bother us, and it certainly bothers us that you think we're not as American as you are, because your name is Glenn Beck. I mean, look, it only bothers me to the set, to the degree that this uh, idiot is allowed to, you know, speak on air to all these people as if he's a credible source. Any madman can speak on a street corner, but they're giving this guy an enormous platform. All right, so anyway, Glenn, my bad. You should discount everything I'm saying, of course, because my, my name is Jank Uger. What is that? It's not American. That sounds radical. What should I change it to? Jack Johnson? Jake Smith. Oh, that's American. Oh, that's so good. This guy's an idiot. And he wonders why we think, hey, perhaps you're not <laughs> understanding why people might think that you judge based on race and identity in this country. You still don't get it? Yeah. What are we going to do? Help this guy? There's no help in it.